What's going on, Crease fam? Uh, welcome back. Episode 54 of the Crease Podcast. Um, I'm one half of the Crease Podcast. My name is Casita. Uh, I'm here with my partner in crime, Trey. What's going down? What's up, dog? Back again. Episode 54. It was a, it was a long week off, but uh, ba- happy to be back. Uh, it was actually like, I guess y'all got the audio on 52. And then last week we took off and all that. So it was, uh, it, it's got a lot to talk about this week. Like, a lot of big topics we were able to funnel down into and get, and we're really going to get into some like big topics on this one. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah. Just happy to be back talking shoes with you, dog. Oh yeah. This is a uh, big time passion. I love this. Um, hmm. As always, if you haven't already yet, go ahead and like subscribe, comment, share, um, make sure to put this in the faces of new people. And uh, you know, we'd love to interact with y'all and get more, more in tune with the audience so go ahead and interact with us we'd love to talk to y'all um as always every episode starts off with the l meter is there anything big this past week that you missed out on not really to be honest with you i'm gonna be completely honest there wasn't a ton i was looking for you know like i don't count the the like the one-off dunks that pop up and i just missed them uh with the, we had the the 277s i think they were the magnus walker pair that just it was what it was when I didn't get them. I wasn't upset about or anything. The hardest shoe that came out the past week is, to me, by far, the Paperboy Paris collab with New Balance on the 992. The egg themed on the shoe, the the cream and the white throughout the top of the shoe. One, great job releasing it this time of year. Mm-hmm. And two, the shoe is hard as hell. So, yeah, they did a great job. Love the egg theme. Uh, look into Paperboy Paris because it's a pretty cool uh, Parisian uh, delicatessen, I guess you could say. But other than that, I'm not not too, not too worried about uh, anything else that came out. I saw those. There was some other stuff that dropped. You know, the unions were were a popular one this weekend. But um, but yeah, those New Balances were definitely top of my list. Yeah, I mean, uh, New Balances were hard, of course. Uh, new Balance has been having a great year. We're going to talk New Balance later on the show as well. Um, I mean, the only big thing for me this past week was the the 450s, the Dark Slates. I'm Ooh. kind of upset about that one. I still want a pair of 450s. I don't know how far down the line I'm going to have to wait. I waited a long time to get some Zebras, so I can only imagine what it looks like on these 450s. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I had exclusive access for the Union 4s, and I overslept, so I think that's a bigger L. Uh, all in itself, uh, we had a, some slight restocks on the cool grade threes and the top fours. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Uh, heavy week on L's, but it's okay. We win. We win a couple. Uh, I did come up on the on the cheetahs, the cheetah giraffe dunks. So that was oh. fun. Yeah. So. See you. Yeah. See you. Yeah. So we, we win some, you lose some. You know, it's all balance. Um, you do. Yeah, speaking about balance, let's talk about what we do got. So this KOTD, sure. what you got up first, my man. All right, dog. So I'll jump into it right now. I wanted to pull out, uh, you know, lots of I've been pulling out lots of Jordan, so I wanted to switch it up this week. We're going to go with a uh, probably my best SB that I own currently. Uh, it's going to be the Bodega Dunk High sale version. Mm. Uh, it came out last year. These are super sick shoe. I was very happy to win these from Bodega. Um, you get the the wood grain on the swoosh, the different browns up top. It still smells like incredibly premium leather. It mm-hmm. smells like if you were to walk into like a leather suitcase shop or something, it's incredible how it smells like that still. Um, but as you know, this was, we highlighted these back in the day when they first dropped, but it's a baseball mitt stitching throughout the entire shoe here. So it's got a lot of cool little details to it. Love the wood grain with the Nike swoosh um, look. On the on the, yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, glossed over, so that's really nice. And you do get a hidden in plain sight. It says hidden in plain sight, and you get a stash pocket on the inside of these as well. So nice. pretty cool shoe. Like the shoe a lot. I was like I said, I was very blessed to get these. Everybody was losing their minds over the friends and family pair, which was also very dope, the all white pair. But mm-hmm. I was very very happy to get my hands on these, and uh, this is one I'm, I'm super proud to have in my collection. So this was my my bodega dub. 
the SB Dunk High they put out. Yeah, great shoe. Love this one. Man, yeah, no, that that was a great – man, how do I say this? This is almost like uh, um, all team all, – it's almost like all team 2020. Like, you know, like yeah. in basketball terms, you know, it's oh, like it, yeah. that's how, yeah. It made all team last year. That was, it was a pretty hard shoe. It was a pretty hard shoe. Come, come the end of 2021, we might have our – we might have to have our, like, lineups. So, oh, so I'm ready. I'm ready. Idea. I've been taking score all we year. Did a, we did do a countdown last year, but we might have to switch it up and make, like, a team out of it, just some situation like that. We'll have to – we'll have to see come December. We're going to have – we're going to have to do a draft. <laughs> a draft. Yeah, okay. I'm a draft. Oh, hey, man. I'm picking you got, dog. No, episode 54, kicks of the day. Yeah, man. Um – I really don't know. Let me see. I'll bust out. It's got two many options. Uh, going back to 2014. These Ooh. I'm sorry about the camera, guys. Um, these are the Ronnie Fave. Um, excuse me. These are the Ronnie Fave collaboration with filling pieces that dropped in 2014 with the quilted white. Leather, uh, you know, gum outsoles gotta love it. Very, uh, hmm, very designer kind of like shoe for me. And my only, <laughs> and my only experience of buying shoes that are not necessarily Nike or Jordan. Uh, so that's why I really like this shoe a lot. I got it at Sneaker Summit in 2014, same year. So these dropped. I got them DS. I've worn these a few times. Um, but I really love this shoe. It has leather lining in the inside. It's all leather, literally all the way around. Uh, they have wax laces as well. Premium stitching along the toe box. Uh, kind of like, a, a, what was that brand that did the dunk this year? Oh, that's every brand. Um, <laughs> that one brand that did the double stitching. And they had like the work. It was based off of like the Worker's Man t-shirt. Uh, no yeah. truth. No tray, no tray. Perfect. Yes. The no tray dunk. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of that with the craftsmanship of the work. Uh, but of course they use like Italian leathers and things of that nature. Um, but yeah, that's my KOTD. Uh Ronnie's. Couple Ronnie's little kiss thing. It's hard, bro. That's a dope shoe. I know you were very excited when you got that shoe and you're like, that was one of those ones I think you were like considering when you should wear them kind of situation. And they were just that's a, that's a dope shoe. It's a very it is a designer look on it, and uh, I like the quilted look, so I think it looks cool. So it's a lot of white, but that's it is a lot of white. It's a whole lot of white. Um, what are y'all rocking? We would you look expensive in those. You look expensive in those. They they all right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not crazy, but they yeah. You definitely get your money's worth out of it for sure. And this is definitely not just like. This is not your run of the mill designer shoe, like you know what I'm saying. Like you definitely get the, the money's worth out of it. So it was dope. Um, what are y'all rocking? We would love to know. Uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, tag us in all of your Instagram or social media posts. Uh, use the hashtag #CreasePod that way you can get featured in the next episode. Um, yeah. Hey, before we go any further, yeah, just like we've had a couple people do that on on Instagram already. So shout out to the boy Roy Baker. He's been posting all his new pickups. He got – saw he got the Syracuse dunk high. He's got all the orange kicks. So, my, so big shout-out to him tagging us. And uh, we got a few other uh, – the McDonald's shoe we were tagged in a few times this week. There was, like, that McDonald's uh, – it was, like, holding nuggets on the side of it and stuff like that. So that was wild. So shout-out to everybody that's been uh, hitting us up on IG and then Twitter and everything. Like, it's been a lot of fun recently for sure. Yeah, keep them coming, guys. We love to interact with y'all. Uh, we love to get down to business, too. Um, before we start, a uh, quick shout-out to Hyde Park. Uh, we went to one of their events this past couple of weeks. Um, they hosted a great, great atmosphere. Um, a lot of culture going on in there, you know, good music. It's one of those things you have to be there in order to understand. Follow them now at Hyde Park. Uh, they have goods, Hyde Park Goods is their website. They sell t-shirts like these and it has a nice little puff print on there. Um, mm -hmm. Take a look at their page and figure out why you weren't invited to the last event. 
Uh, yeah, Hyde Park had a cool – that was a dope event. I like that a lot. It was uh, – saw lots of kicks out there. We didn't get to post any on the IG because it was it was pretty packed up. But, uh, yeah, we saw lots of kicks out there. That was a good time. And uh, I want to shout out – I have a shout-out this week as well. Got a shout-out to my boy Simple Poor. Mm. Over there, they ended up with their, their new heavy hitters pack. So, these are fantastic. I've already killed one of the three I have. I still have the Henny one, but this is the uh, To Kill Your Blues. Mm. And you already know what it is. But, yeah, shout-out to the Simple Poor. Definitely yeah, all summer. Right now. Hit up the Simple Poor HTX.com, or you can hit them up on Instagram, bro. They're affordable. They're fantastic tasting. And, uh, yeah, and they're uh, I forgot what the percentage is, but it's solid for sure. Uh, it, it gets you right, though. That is correct. Yeah, that's, that's all I need to know. All right, the Simple Poor. Make sure y'all check them out. All right. Boom. Uh, into it. Staying on designer. Um, man, this guy. Uh, Mr. Keep it to Virgils, you know what I'm saying? He has had a very loud month of June, uh, you know, confirming the 50 colorways of the dunks, of the off-white dunks, uh, as well as the two deconstructed Air Jordan 2s. Uh, this past week was Fashion Week in Paris, so you know all the big names were out there. Um, and, of course, Virgil was there, man. He came deep with a new arsenal full of various colorways in Louis Vuitton collab with Air Force Ones. So, uh, you know, they got some crazy colors, including like Canary Yellow, which everybody's still anticipating with the Air Jordan one. Um, but, you know, like you got Varsity Red, you know, he even has some of them were designed to be, uh, to look like the wallets. Now, mm -hmm. you know, back in the early 2000s this was kind of like shunned upon like all the shoes also have like embossed lv stamps all over it and they look better than the ones from 2002 or 2003 if you're from that era but they definitely still look of flea market quality it, it's crazy to say because the first thing you see when you look at them is like oh yeah these are bodega joints like these are these are yeah. joints that you get at the flea market but you know, it, it, they obviously have to upgrade to them. Uh, anywho, the shoes also still come uh, dual branded, uh, dual branded tongues. So you get the Louis Vuitton and uh, Nike symbols on the side, Sakai, basically. Um, and then uh, highly recognized Helvetica type faces all over the shoes as well. Uh, did you have a favorite of what you saw? Uh, and if not, do you think these are just for the bodegas? You hit all great points there. Everything you said there is spot on. Uh, definitely look a bit knockoffish, no doubt about that. Uh, especially the full printed ones. I just can't do it, bro. The light leathers and and like the light brown leathers and stuff. It is not for me. However, I'm not a hundred percent mad at some of the white and like one other color pairs mm -hmm. so like the white and green pair or the white and red pair mm -hmm. not terrible not nothing like i'm going out of my way for but not terrible right yeah and then there is a pair with a black sole it's all white up top mm -hmm. and it's got green tag on like the jelly looking black uh swoosh yep that's the one that is that's the one, the one? oh wow i'm <laughs> shocked that you said that Okay. <laughs> or you thought I was going to go the other way with that? Yeah. Oh, no. No, this one is definitely the one. This one is super duper duper hard. I, I love it. I think it's by far the, the coolest looking one. Uh, when I searched yesterday, when I searched the collection and I just went to images on Google, that shoe popped up the most in the searches and stuff. So I guess other people are looking at it as well. But, you know, I, I, it's going to be one of those things just like the dunks. When they come around, you're just going to be happy to get whatever you got. <laughs> Look, man, if rumor has it, it's it was 21 pairs. That's the rumor on the street. All right. Look, this man is set to release, what is that? Uh, 73 pairs of shoes within the next, yeah, 73 pairs. Holy shit. Dog, if I don't get one pair. I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> I'm gonna be upset. Okay. Um, but you know, right. just piggybacking, uh, back off of what, what you had said. Um, yeah, and 
I, I think if you're going to do the Fugazi route, if they're going to look knockoffish, I am going to go for the most knockoffish looking one because I know the packaging okay. should be of top tier quality for all of them. They should be all of top tier quality. Yeah. So I might as well go for the one that looks like the most collabish looking shoe, if that makes any sense. So okay. um, yeah, you know, um, so if they're going to do this, yeah, I, I'm going to go for the LV wallet one. I think that's personally the best idea. Um, and just keep it as like a, you know, a namesake kind of deal. Fair, fair. But yeah, those would be cool. We'll keep y'all up to date on those. It could be, like he said, 73 pairs. So believe that you'll be hearing Virgil's name on the Crease podcast going forward. Uh, other than that, we can stay at Paris Fashion Week. Kim Jones of Dior and uh, La Flame, Mr. Travis Scott, it's Houston's lit. very own is lit they've come together for the uh 22 collection for the heavyweight of dior uh they unveiled the p the b713 sneaker Mm. for all you houstonians out there you know exactly what they're doing with that but it is a it is by far a skater inspired shoe um there's no doubt about that it kind of goes along the osiris bbc board flip kind of the wave of that kind of type of shoe uh, it's very, very interesting looking. I don't think they've started to catch on, but nothing drastic, I would say, at this point. Um, but we do know that both of these entities have been probably number one and number two for Nike on their list uh, mm-hmm. the last few years as far as collabs go. So uh, how do you feel about the two powerhouses kind of getting together and, and Nike kind of letting them have their space to do them together? You know what I'm saying? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> shoe? Not, not the shoe, huh? Yo, <laughs> these are I, man. I don't think these are good. I really do not think these are good. I I honestly think I think Pharrell should come for for his dollar on this one. This heavily influenced, Pharrell. I think, by like the BBC ice cream board flips. Um, okay, uh, ES skating. You know they they used to have shoes like that as well um osiris d3 is like that big chunky thing like i I think the skateboarder should come i i haven't seen anybody skate in designer shoes so i mean i don't know this this could be the first thing this could be something um but i personally i'm not rocking these uh (laughs) i think they just overdid it a little bit uh they should have definitely went back to the swoosh factory and concocted something because all three of them together in one building would have been crazy i mean he already got the fragment joints on the way with travis on the one so it's good to build stuff from the ground up too i I do truly support that um Mm -hmm. but honestly at the end of the day I, i think this is not the best execution no no i'd have to agree with you you know the uh, collab department at Nike is is too busy with all of Sakai's stuff going on right now, I'm sure. So uh, they had to leave this one alone. But yeah, you know, they, they for what they came with, what he was going for was this skate shoe. And that's exactly what he got it. But it doesn't get I don't get like huge uh, luxury vibes from this one. You know, mm-hmm. I don't you know, I don't know if he's expecting to tear this shoe up or if that's, you know, I know he's a big rager. So uh, I don't know what the intent behind this shoe is, but um it, it's a it's an interesting looking shoe nothing i'm nothing i'm spending a lot of money on for sure i've seen some decent colorways i'm not it's not about the colorways i'm not mad at any of the colorways i've seen so far it's just the the overall model is just yeah eh, eh. yeah it's, it's, it's I'm not like, it's not like drawing me in to want to buy it you know what i'm saying like and you would think with the likes of Travis Scott and Kim Jones, yeah. you know, you would have thought that oh, this is about to be fire, especially coming off of the backbones of Nike. Like, nah. Well, the, not do these automatic do these automatically drop to the bottom of Travis's list? Absolutely. This goes to Ooh. the very bottom yeah. of whatever Travis has done. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. gonna have to take the L on this. Um, and it doesn't matter. See, there's no Travis effect to this. You know, he. You can wear this oh. tomorrow, and I'm yeah. still not going to buy these. <laughs> uh, what do y'all think about uh, the Travis Scott Dior collab? Go ahead and comment below. Let us know what you 
honestly and truly feel about this. Uh, Please, really know. Uh, okay, let's move forward. Kanye, back in the headlines again, oh. this time with his favorite foe, Walmart. This time he is suing them uh, for the trademarking and redistribution of unauthorized or unauthentic foam runners yeah. being sold on the Walmart's loosely ran online marketplace. Yep. These joints are selling for 25 bucks as opposed to the $75. So you're already saving 50. And if they are one for ones, I, I guess the only difference would be the algae because you know this is how the shoe the shoe's constructed with a little bit of algae right. in there. So yeah. that's kind of little touch in order to stay separate from everybody. So if it's not like one for one, one for one, I, I can understand that. Um, like, do you have like your algae meter at home that you're like running over? Your <laughs> like that? Like, I Damn, these know. don't have algae in them. I, I got to take them back now. <laughs> no, yeah, they get not enough algae. This did not pass the standard of algae passing shoes. So I, I will have to return these. <laughs> uh, so some of the colorways that were on there were uh, the original, the Ararat and the recent drop of the Sands, as well as future drops like the Red Octobers and the MX Cream Clays. So uh, Walmart's acknowledged the issues, uh, claiming that the uh, claiming that this was at the hands of the third party, basically the people who are coming on there and selling the fakes, uh, and they take the allegations seriously, they're looking into it. Do you think Walmart's getting karma over the, log the logo controversy that they had earlier this year where they try to sue Kanye over, of course, you know, the logo. Um, mm -hmm. So what, what, what's your take on that? Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely pettiness. Like, it's just a huge petty situation going on here. It's like, oh, you sued me, now I'm going to sue you. We're going to copy your product because we can change it up a little bit, just enough to where we're not going to get the backlash from it. So uh, first off, I think it's obviously, you know, I don't, I don't like that they're selling them in Walmart. Mm-hmm. But it's going to be the same thing as, like, the Bunk 350s that you can get it anywhere, bro. Like, people are going to wear these, and it's going to look just like the foam runner, and it's going to be fine. Uh, I see why Kanye wants to sue him. He has full rights and should be able to sue them, and they should have to stop making these immediately. But, you know, like I said, they've been in this petty beef for a little while now, so who knows what the, the courts are going to do for this. Um, I would think they would have to stop them. I saw some colorways, though. I will say that. They had some colorways that weren't coming out on the foam runners that like were just other extra oh, yeah. colorways. Oh yeah. And I was like, I was like, oh, these are kind of some of these are kind of fire. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I don't know if they're these are fake or not, but some of these are better than some of the ones I've seen. So it's just it's interesting how that works out. I guess when you're making them for 25 bucks, you can throw whatever colors you want on them. Um, so I think it's an interesting fact. Like it's interesting that they're doing it, but you know, they're gonna get shut down at some point. Oh, uh, yeah. karma i don't know if you want to put karma on them but just like it just is what it is they just having beef right now and they can fight right, it out you're you know walmart I'm you're you came after kanye west over the directions of some vector graphics uh yeah now nah, this is definitely karma uh coming back to bite them uh 100 if it if it kept going the way it was going you know, the Walmart would have turned into like the Alibaba's and, you know, allowing people to buy the shoe, customize it, and then, you know, flip it. And then those people are now called what? Customize it. Yeah. Where do you think all, the, <laughs> where do you think all these pairs are going to go when they have to stop selling them? <laughs> exactly. I mean, they're, There's they're still, not going to melt Walmart's up on these pairs. It makes them, it takes them $5 to make these foam mm -hmm. runners, no algae in them. And then, yeah, they're just turning around selling for 25. They're not, they're not losing anything here. And, they're going to get off all these pairs, whether one way or another, like you said, if it's not in Walmart store, they'll be on Alibaba. They'll be on eBay or something like yeah. th these will be out there. I'm not karma. Karma is what it is, but yeah, you just, it, they're both ridiculous. Two ridiculously large entities fighting over this. It's, it's wild. It's wild. Oh, Kanye wins. All right. The story is still developing. Uh, of course, we'll keep it locked. Uh, keep it locked to us for updates. That way we can keep you updated. Um, yeah, we have Virgil, Travis, and Kanye on Fresh Out the Box. You can't tell me episode 54 is not super duper lit. That is fire. That is fire. <laughs> oh, man. That, that, that's a fire lineup at any festival. 
Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. So we can move on. That was fresh out the box. We get into order confirmed. This is everything that's come out within the past week, week and a half. You know, we took a little bit of a week off. So everything has come out in the past little bit. So first things first, we're going to start off on the uh, men's size University Blue Nike Dunk Lows. These came out on the 24th for $100. Uh, these were not in our um, – L meters up top, but you know, this was a, this was one I wanted for sure. It is a cool looking shoe. Uh, we've had some very, very, very similar looking colorways with the UCLA's and whatnot, but uh, this dunk low was a, a nice all blue with the white, with the white panels. So hard to be is a very clean shoe saying I didn't hear too many quality control issues so far, but I'm sure it's going to be the same as most of the dunks that have been coming out recently. But again, those came out for the 24th for $100. What did you have any, any big thoughts on those? Dunks are getting dried out now, man. They're getting drowned out really bad. Uh, of course, this is going to be one of those that stand out against all the drowning. You know, you probably do want to get these ones because just because the colorway alone. Uh, but I think, I think we all need a break, man. I think the dunk needs to go back into hiding. Mm. This is this is overkill at this point, but. Uh, Hey man, no good. Yeah, I'm happy to see men's men's sizing. That's what I was happy to see. Yeah, all you girls getting all the good sizes. Yeah, it's wild. All the good shoes. That's wild. No, <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, I mean, no, hey, hey, it, it sucks. It stops at men's ten and a half for some of them, <laughs> and I'm just not there no more. All right, yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're just complaining because we didn't get them, but we can move on. <laughs> yeah. Next up, we got uh, the Easy Three Hundred and Fifty Version Two, the Mono Cinders uh very dark brown is it dark brown or is it black it's one of the two but i think it's yeah like a light black yeah like a lighter gray dark gray dark gray even yeah i don't even know if it's gray it's like it's like black but it's translucent so it's, it's hard to it's it's cinder i don't yeah, even know how cinder, to cinder as they call it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's dressed with the uh the skeleton uh, of course, the exposed skeleton of the inside of workings of the 350. Um, man, I personally, if I was going to do the monos at all, yeah. it was only going to be the ice and, of course, the black pair, which this is pretty close to the black pair. I would wear these waiting for the new pair, but 350s, I'm kind of over them now at this point. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like I just want a newer model, you know. I think once you've had one, you had them all. And it's yeah. kind of hard to say that when you got like a lot of pairs of like Dunks and Air Max ones. But yeah. Anyway, that's the first part of addiction is uh is recognizing it, huh? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you can see but right yeah, there. Uh, now. But yeah, mono cinder. Like I I've I've totally backtracked on all these mono pairs. I I I wasn't upset at them at first, but now I just I'm not with it, bro. I'm not I'm not digging the seeing the guts of the shoe and all that anymore it's just i don't know just not something for me anymore and uh yeah the blue pairs the, i think they had an orange pair those were all interesting but if i was gonna do it it would be these darker definitely this black and cinder pairs would be the way to go but those came out on the 24th for 220 dollars and they are for sure for sure super duper gone <clears throat> you want to bring us in on this next pack absolutely <clears throat> uh what we got is the reebok nerf pack um man reebok is holding on by a thread i really hope somebody does buy them buy them out uh but uh, recently on the 25th of june they had one pair of kamikaze twos and two different pairs of omni zone twos that dropped for this nerf pack one was like super bright orange the other two were uh one was black and then uh the kamikazes i think were green uh they dropped from 130 and 160 respectively so the kamikazes were 130 and then the omni pump well the omni pump zero, uh, zone twos were 160 a piece uh did you like any of these if you, if you didn't <sighs> tell me why bro come on bro no this was nickelodeon slime all over these bro especially mm -hmm. the orange omni pair like no sir no sir i didn't like these at all the kamikaze had potential at some point but again too many colors bro like they could have left two colors off this shoe and it still would have been like two too many colors so uh, <laughs> it's, just, it's just a lot going on it looks like a nerf box i'll give them that like they hit their theme on the head no they doubt the theme. 
they hit the theme. I wish there was like a button you could press and like shot out a dart. That would be super fire. Um, but, so you but, you uh, want customized? You want super customizer? You want this thing to shoot that like, little Nerf dart? Like, yeah, I need like utility purposes for these. I need like to be able to like inspect their gadget my way through. Well, they are basketball shoes. shoes. <laughs> I said they are basketball shoes, and they're based off of the uh, the backboards that you used to put in your home. That's fantastic. I'm not hooping in these. These shoes weigh 15 pounds, so <laughs> I'm not walking around with these bricks, that's for sure. But uh, it's an interesting collab. I'm happy Reebok uh, is, is staying out in the news, at least. Uh, this was a, you know, they need, Reebok needs collabs like this because this is something that even if it doesn't hit, it's only three pairs and it, it, it gets them onto the, the Crease podcast. You know what I'm saying? It gets them into the news. It gets that's them on sneaker, sneaker News and all these other websites. Uh, stuff like that so yeah you know so that i'd say that is a, a big win for reebok these shoes are not going to do great you know what i'm saying it just is what it They're is not. yeah these shoes are not going to do great i think the best thing to do right now with reebok is actually collect them because once they go under i think the price will go up uh because of the scarcity they're not going to be making them anymore so you know reebok in general uh well i mean you know especially with like these collab packs you know like this nerf pack with kamikazes and omni zones though they have no like correlation so to say i mean i guess they were both 90s you know it's very this is very revival of the 90s you know with those nerf backboards uh that you know kids hang up in their homes and everybody wants to be sean kemp or you know uh shaquille o'neal rocking reeboks back in the 90s so uh yeah so I think what they should do is uh, honestly just, you know, shut down production. <laughs> this is not, a, this is just not a good shoot. Uh, I think somebody who should keep pushing is this young gentleman. Uh, yes, his sir. name is Salehi Benberry. Yes, sir. He does nice work at New Balance. Yes, he does. Dropping man. off his second pair of 2002 R's dubbed water be the guide he's dropped on the 25th of june for 150 bucks um uh, i don't i think this easily top 10 to the year Ooh, yeah i would i'd have to agree with you i'd say i think uh yeah. you and i both had his his collab his big orange collab last year i think we both had that in our top five maybe eight i know i had him in my top five i want to say we both had him somewhere in like top five top eight um and this is this is a this is a follow up that is as good as the first one, right? This, this is, is a great sequel. Yes, I will watch this, this movie exactly. again. <laughs> great word for it. This is the best sequel he could have done. I think um, the desert theme on the first one, and then the water theme on this one. It just it tells a story, and it just gives him more room to continue on different elements and stuff like that. So uh, I think we're gonna see more from Mr. Bimbury in the future. Uh, but this 2002R is, is super hard. You get the, the blue suede on the upper is nice. I'm not a huge fan of like the mesh panels, mm -hmm. um, but it, it's going to give you that breathability from the other panels that are like have the heavy suede on them. Yeah. The ones that don't have that, have that nice breathable mesh. So it's going to give you a nice balance uh, to, to make the shoe like extremely wearable. Um, other than that, yeah, I mean, it's a new balance. So it's going to be going to be walking on pillows, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh congratulations by the way this is <laughs> a tremendous feat like, yeah. You, yeah they're so gone yeah no this is hard like wow okay <laughs> these are great um but sold out in i mean they sold out on new balance website they sold out everywhere that i saw they were available by the time i got to the site so <laughs> what's crazy is i i feel like what he's doing for just this model alone Ooh, is yeah. just bringing new light to it you know most people go as we've seen lately the 992 has been exercised uh you know we got we got paperboy paris which we've already talked about uh DTLA. yeah uh D dtlr was it dtlr DTLR. Yep, yep. yeah yeah they also had one you know like you know we, we got a lot of collabs joe fresh goods uh you know yeah a lot of people are dropping collabs with new balance but you know, they're going for those big popular models. I think what Salehi's doing here with the 2002 is bringing it new light. 
like you said, you know, working with the elements, peace be the journey with the first one. This one's all about water. Peace be the journey, I think. You said desert, more like earth and water. Hopefully it doesn't fire. I think that'd be fine. I'm just gonna go along with the journey and I'm gonna watch. <laughs> I really want one pair. I think the orange pair is still hard, uh, but either one of these would be better on my feet, in my opinion. I love <laughs> yeah, no, he's he's killing it. He needs to he needs to continue to kill it. And like with the model that's not a popular model, I feel like this proves and it just it not proves anything because he didn't need to prove anything because he already had a resume before he used the new balance but this just shows how much of a real designer he is right this isn't we see so many crap collabs and especially with the dunks now people are just throwing crap on them and it's just now they're dying right mm -hmm. he's literally bringing this shoe out the dead yeah Lazarus style and just like putting it back on the map like to a to an extent it hasn't probably ever ever been that to be honest with you with this particular shoe yeah um and and to be doing it on like a fashion level it just goes to show it, honestly it goes to show how real of a designer he is even though he's already been with, with louis he's already been louis and all the everybody else yeah, of versace he was with versace exactly. yeah this guy he's if, if you didn't believe it before believe it now yeah believe it now because i you know what this is good this is really good, and I think it's here to stay. Um, yeah. Excellent execution. This is just bar none. Beautiful craftsmanship. Uh, shout out to Leahy on that. That is order confirmed. Uh, tracking order, we're going to run through these real quick. Uh, number one, we got Diana Taurasi linking up with, do I, do I say the GOAT or do I say the King? Ooh, ooh. Well, Looking up with LeBron James and Nike to collab on the – LeBron 18s. This one's going to be called the La Cabra, uh, also known as the Goat. So this mm -hmm. is going to uh, this plays influences to Diana Taurasi's uh, Italian and Argentinian side of her family. So you'll find some some nods on there with uh, the scriptures written on the heel. Um, front facing shoe is it black, black yep. black with cream, black and yeah, creamish kind of color. Um, and then they have the little goat imprint on the insole, which is also very dope. Uh, these are set to release on the 2nd of July for 200 bucks. Is this something that yeah. you want to hold on to? Um, do you think, I mean, I, I, I honestly think that Tarashi should have got her own PE Kobe, but, you know, just working with anybody under the umbrella is dope. I think she actually should have got her own signature model, but that's a different story. Right. That's, that's where right. I was what do you think about these though? That's where I was gonna go with it. I think she's she's always been a huge. She's worn a lot of LeBron models. She's also worn lots of Kobe models as well. But yes, if anybody deserved her own model of shoe because of what she's done for the game and for the brand of Nike, by far it's Diana Taurasi. And so, um, yeah, this is great to see this collab. But would have liked to see her get her own model throughout the years. I think, I think young girls could have picked up on that and. Who knows? We might be seeing a girl like Sabrina Ionescu or uh, Chinea Gumake and girls like them. Who knows? Down the line, they might get a, a signature shoe, and it would be because of women like Tarazi that have, have put stick shoes on throughout their entire careers and really represented. Um, but this shoe in particular, I really like it a lot. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. From a collection standpoint, <clears throat> I would love to have her sign this pair. <laughs> Yes, I would, love, I would love to have her sign this pair and glass box this pair because it, it just seems like a, it has a lot to do with her career and her family and her life. So I'm not wearing I'm not wearing any LeBron's casually like we talk about this all the time past a certain number right past for me. It's like nines and tens. I don't, I don't really wear anything past that casually too mm -hmm. often. Um, and so that this is going to go down that same path where if I bought this shoe and I didn't plan on her signing it. <laughs> I'm gonna see y'all at the court in these. Um, mm. I, I think this is a, a sick shoe, but uh, and I, obviously LeBron is gonna be very durable and great for basketball, obviously. But um, yeah, you know, with the with the nods and the and the Argentina and the Italy color and the, the coloring of the letters and all that, I think it's just I think it's a super fire shoe, and I'm happy they got to do something for her. Um, I don't I don't know if it'll sell out. You think it'll sell out? Yeah. I think it'll sell out. Uh, namesakes yeah. alone, uh, on namesakes alone, and uh, the power behind the brand, I do believe that it will uh, definitely sell out. 
can't wait to see what the packaging looks like for this. You know, usually they come with like some dope boxes. So I think that'd be cool I'm sure, too. I thought we never got a La Cabra before for anything. You know what I'm saying? Like I figured people have been using goat so heavy the last few years, like the term goat. Like I'm just, I'm, when I read it and I was like, oh, it means the goat. Like I was like, oh, I'm shocked nobody else has used that yet. So <laughs> I thought that was interesting, but. I think that's dope, very yeah. Fitting. Very fitting. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's a good way to pay respect to her, you know, making sure that she understands she's a she is a goat in, you know, in her own way. So, uh, yeah, I'll be looking out for those as well as these Air Jordan 4 white Oreos that are set to drop on the 3rd of July for 190 bucks. Is this something that's right up your alley? You know, we are Jordan 4 connoisseurs. Uh, is this one of the ones that you need? You need these, or do you just want right. them? All right. Okay. Yeah, you saved it at the end there. I don't need these. Mm. I I don't need these shoes. I don't. I would like these shoes though. <laughs> I think I would like to own these shoes. Um, it's again, and I, this is gonna be the second time this episode, probably like the eight hundredth time throughout our uh, Crease podcast journey that I've said that this is just damn too much white. This is just oh my gosh. White. This is just outlandishly white. However, however, it would have only taken a panel or two to really make this shoe like a top notch four that they could have just turned black, but it's okay that they didn't. Um, it's still a really dope shoe. I like the gray hints throughout the speckle is I'm obviously a speckle fan as you're not as much of a speckle fan, but I think it looks great. Um, and it was just enough. The speckle is just enough detail in the red swoosh and the red jump man to offset it being too, too white. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's a little bit of flavor there that's not just straight bland-ass white across the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I know you don't like white shoes, but I think these are <laughs> one of the ones that you just keep crispy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. I Because it, it, it actually, it pains me. When I think of all white fours, you know, yeah. I think white metallics, you know what I'm saying? like pure money pure money for us you know your least favorite ones so i feel like right. these would be <laughs> I feel like these would be a great like wear them out type of shoe you know what i'm saying it, they went with full grain leather just like the original oreos but now they're all white so i think that's right. pretty dope you know what i'm saying like one thing i'll say shoe? about that yeah is that uh my columbias are some of my favorite fours that i own same situation there. I would I would try to keep them in the same type of condition, wear them in the same conditions as I would for these. So that's a really good point. Yeah, I think I think these fours, uh, you know, at face value, they're not the prettiest. Uh, but what it led to be, what it made up to be, I think I can appreciate it, and I will take a pair. Last question for the whole episode. Yeah. The these or university blue fours. Oh. <laughs> Uh, university blue boards okay okay i was interested i was interested to see what you were going to say on that one i'll take university blue course for sure i like the tongue tag that was different um so this has been episode 54 of the crease podcast you guys sure. to this part of the video we love you we appreciate you could not do this without you um if you haven't already go ahead and like subscribe share comment uh, put this in the faces of new people. We'd love to interact with everybody uh, that we've interacted with in person or online. Uh, just give us a shout. Uh, Lincoln, Lincoln bio, as they all say. <laughs> um, Trey, you got anything for the people? No, nah, that's it, dog. We appreciate y'all. Y'all keep tagging us. Keep letting us know what you picked up. We really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we'll be tuning in with y'all on the on the IG Happy to be back, episode 54, and we'll be back with 55 next week. Oh, yes, man. Sir. That's going to be crazy. Yes, sir. That's we got a crazy. We got a big week next week. We got a big we'll week really next week. We'll talk about it next week, though. We'll talk oh, about it next week, though. Can't wait. Anyways, all right, guys. Like always, ain't no half stepping around here. We will catch off for episode 55. Till then, peace. Wow.